might do this video for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, you never know who's watching your videos, good, bad, or indifferent. I always try and do a video to inspire or motivate. And I think this is a video that I think I need to do, even though I don't really want to be doing it. I'm sitting in this bed here, and I'm wondering, should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it to hell with it. So here's the news I've come to give to you today. I, as a lot of you may know, um, had a background in cricket. I dedicated 15 years of my life to cricket, um, coaching from grassroots level, where grassroots meaning working in the park, coaching uh, kids in schools and then doing club cricket and then doing working on the county circuit and then getting the opportunity to go to the Caribbean. I promised myself at 14 years old um, that if I could be one of the best players in the world, I'd get the opportunity and challenge myself and become one of the best coaches around. So I took myself to the Caribbean, age 36, to coach in the Caribbean. And it was a great opportunity. I was able to work at grass level and work at national level so it was mission complete for me at 30 36 years old i would say and during that time in media um, i'd been around the media in terms of watching they'd come and watch some of the events that i put on as a coach and they'd report on various matches and stuff that i was successful in winning as a coach um, from the uk to australia and back you know i've had fairly good press coverage and when I won the National Community Champion Award in 2011, well, 1011, and I had a national documentary done on me, it was at that point I felt to myself, you know what, I'd like to be on the other side of the camera, I'd like to be, you know, reporting, I'd love to be able to report the news and things happen in life and, and, and you know, you see some things you think, oh, I don't like where the way that's handled and mostly Mate, all the people I've spoken to in life that have gone on and got the, their roles or done what they're doing in the industry, a lot of them come back to the story by telling me, saying to me, oh, I've done this because, you know, I didn't like the way I was handled here or I did this because of the injustice that happened there or, or you know, I feel I could have done better or I could have given something back or I felt I could have done better than my manager did. So I guess I'm kind of one of those. And here I am in uh, 2014. Sitting in a bed in Dublin, um, thinking, have I made the right decision? And I have made a great decision. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you probably won't know, um, I have um, dedicated myself to three years on a BA honours degree um, at uh, Griffith College in Dublin. Yes, in Ireland. Um, at 38 years old. And looking at the current scene within media, sports, journalism, I, you know, I've done a, a lot of interviews over the last two years, a pack of interviews I've done. It's been fun. It's been great. But, you know, you want to set yourself up, a, 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 apart from the, the p other people around. You want to be a trendsetter. And to do that, I truly believe that you need to, you know, dedicate yourself to something in your craft and become the best at it, which means hard work, dedication, as Floyd would say, and a lot of damn you know, a skill involved. And I think I bring some skill to the table, even though some people would see it and not really want to grab it. So, and I'm a one who, I'm a person who believes in ownership. I believe if people don't want to give you a job, then you've got to create your own job. Um, um, and uh, a lot of people will take advantage of the skills that you have, take advantage of it, use you, use the skills that you have and then not pay you for it and not value you. And value is a very important thing for me. Um, so my experiences back in London, when I went back to London after being in the Caribbean, I looked around to see what was going on within, you know, sports scene, boxing scene. It was good. I enjoyed it. But, you know, I knew that I had to make a decision. If I was going to come into this, do journalism and media, am I going to go two feet in? Or I'm going to have one foot in, one foot out. And I said, you know what? I'm jumping right in. And here I am today. So I am a fully-fledged student at Griffith University, or Griffith College, in fact, studying th three years and a BR on this degree. Um, so I'm kind of excited about it. I'm excited. I've had induction today, which was good. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm doing things at the right time. 
And of course, those of you who know me from obviously Bayloric TV, you know, I think it would be a great experience to be able to take the, the channel to the next level with that sort of experience behind you and the sort of contacts you're going to build um, along the way. So um, anybody who's watching or see me grow through the years, um, here's some good news for you. Um, what else can I say to you? Um, yeah, anybody who's watching this video and is actually at Griffiths College and is studying and doing their first year or in the second year or the third year, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I'll, um, I'm going to try and do when I can, I'm not make any big promises, but I'll try and do some video blogs to kind of update you about how I feel about studies and what I've learned and how things have developed and yeah, so you'll hear about life in Dublin. Um, a very exciting place. Um, a lot of different things, um, as you do when you go to a different country. Um, but here's one of the things that I discovered, which was really interesting. Um, Vodafone. I had a Vodafone, pay as you go phone. And every time I crossed over into Dublin from the UK, um, couldn't call anybody out. So nobody could call out to me. So uh, get in contact. I said, well, what's the matter? And they come back to England and they say to me, oh, I couldn't call you in, in Dublin. So I said, so ah, that's odd. They've got a Vodafone in Ireland. They've got a Vodafone in England. So the next thing I discover, I went into the Vodafone shop with my phone. I said, look, my phone's not working. Um, I've got a Vodafone chip here. The latest, is that from England or is that from Ireland? She goes, I said, it's from England. Doesn't it work here? She goes, no. Vodafone England and Vodafone Ireland are two completely different com companies. Two different. They may have the Vodafone name, but that's it. Different lines, different networks, totally different. The packages are totally different as well. So um, that was interesting. Very interesting. So I will uh, do what I can while I'm out in Dublin and share whatever experience I have. And I think that's about it. I'm rambling on. Um, so, yeah. Three years, honest degree, be honest degree in medium journalism and visual media. I think that's about it. Apart from, I will leave with this final point. Don't let anybody, anybody determine your destiny. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and cannot do. If somebody tells you you can't do something, they're not telling you what you can't do. They're telling you what they cannot do. And because they cannot do it, they ultimately believe you cannot do it. So do what you need to do. And it's never too late to learn. Take me. I'm 38 years old. I stopped one career to move into another. You know, a lot of people wouldn't do it. I just felt at the end of the day, it's run its course as a, as a coach. Um... And you have to start do something new now. So, and don't do things to please other people. Yes, it's nice to please people, but if you're not pleasing yourself and pleasing people, then you know what? You're wasting your time at the end of the day. So, I think that's about it. I think I'm done. So, I'll leave you with that. This has been Ingram Jones from Bayloric TV, the student. I'm out. Take care.